What's up guys? Welcome to part 5 of this Tesla clone. You can see what we've built so far. It is looking good. It's responsive. We have this nice hover effects. We have links. We have the bouncing animation. When you shrink this down though, the major thing we're missing is this menu button. So when you click on this menu button, nothing happens. So we're going to work on that today. So let's go to our navbar.js. We're going to scroll down and we're going to add a div and we'll give it a class name. And the first thing we'll give it is BG dash white um, for positioning. We'll say absolute. We're going to go top dash zero, right dash zero. We're going to say width of 80 and width of 80 if you look it up I think it's like 326 pixels or something close to that um, we're gonna say height full and let's see boom so we have our nav bar taking shape one thing you can see is that the text sits on top and these buttons sit on top so we need to change the Z index so basically the stacking so if we say Z 10 it's gonna stack that on top. So now we're on top. Looking sweet. I think that's all we need to do for now. So when we open this, we need to be able to close it. So we want a close icon. So let's go ahead and create a new div. And we'll give it a uh, class name. And inside this div, we want to add an icon so like last time we're using react icons if you haven't installed it it's npm install react icons so let's just go ahead and copy an import statement we'll put that in and then we'll search the icon it's oh it already popped up for me i already searched it this tfi close so search tfi close Oh, didn't like that TFI close. We'll click it, we'll copy it, we'll paste that in here. And then this is gonna be not slash FA, but TFI. Sweet, so now we can go back to our clone. Let's scroll down and then inside the div, we want to put TF. I close here it is you can hit tab we'll close that sweet we have it right here and then let's go size equals 28 perfect and then let's go ahead and fix where the position is so right now it's at the top left so what we're gonna say here is flex and we're gonna say justify n to move it over. And then let's work on a little bit of padding. So we'll say padding right of eight. And then we'll say padding top of eight. Looking good. So for this TFI close, let's go ahead and add a class name here as well. And for, for this icon, we're gonna go um, let's go rounded P1, perfect, and then we'll say on hover, we want it to be BG-black with an opacity of 5. Let's look at that. Sweet. So that is looking pretty good. So let's keep moving right along. So next under here, we are going to have a UL. We'll close that off. And then in here, we're gonna have a LI. And we can say one just to see some text. Perfect. And we'll paste a bunch here. Let's see. If we go to the Tesla website, let's open up the menu. We're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Let's just go to Powerwall. Um, save you the torture. <laughs> one, two, three, four, 
five. Just copy those. That in there. Just copy. So we'll have the the twelve in here. Go back. Sweet. And then let's go ahead and give these a little styling as well. So we'll go to the UL. We'll say class name. And we're just going to say padding top of 8 and PX of 6. Cool. And then for the LIs, we'll just style these all together. So let's hold down our option key and click. All right, and we'll say class name equals, oops, class name equals, and then for the LIs, we'll go PY dash three, we'll go PL dash three, and we're gonna say hover rounded and hover, we'll do that same BG dash black slash five. Sweet, and let's see, so when we hover, look at that, looking good, it's a nice hover, sweet, all right. So now, let's go ahead and just add the text. So we'll just start typing these in. Model S, copy this. Just start pasting these in here. You can fast forward this part of the video. Sweet. All right. Once you get those typed in, we will go to our Tesla clone. Look at that. It is looking pretty darn good. Let's make these links clickable. So we'll come over here. We are going to go A and we're going to do a href equals. We'll go ahead and close that. Copy this A tag. Command C. We're going to put that at the end here. And what we'll do is we'll go to the Tesla website, click the drop down menu, model S, we can right click and we can say copy link address. And then we're gonna paste it in here. Perfect. And then we will go back to our clone and let's go ahead and just reload this. And when we hover, you see down at the bottom left where it says model S, if I click model S, it will take us to the Model S, so we'll go back so our links are working. So now we'll just add a href to the rest of these. Again, we'll just fast forward this so you don't have to watch, um, and then we'll keep moving along. See you soon. All right, once you have all that typed out, come to our Tesla clone, just gonna force reload it. And when you hover, you can see we have on the bottom left, all the different models showing up. Let's click model three. It'll take us to model three. Perfect. This is working. So I think what we'll do is let's go ahead and end here. And the next lesson will take care of the state. So we want to be able to click this X to toggle this menu bar to close or hit the menu to open this up. So we're, we'll work on that next. See you soon.